Welcome to Cry Battle, where whoever cries the most wins. I'm here with Gus Johnson. Thank you for having me. Are you a big crybaby? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big crybaby. How often are you crying these days? Cried a lot yesterday. What um, happened yesterday? Uh, it, was a, it was a bad day. It was just a bad day? Just the worst <laughs> You're day. You're like, my day's bad. Here we are at half a tank, so. Well, it's about to get worse. Let's look at the stats. Um, yeah. I don't... They're... I'm not seeing anything, so. All good, man. You keep good. saying all good. We're okay. Let's we'll limp our way through Hell this. Yeah. Our first round is crying on command. Whether or not you can force yourself to cry. Do you think that you can cry? I mean, I'm feeling pretty bad right now, so I'm. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I seem really happy about no, that. Right no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't funny. Or... That's fine. Damage is done, but let's just move on. So. Sorry, bro. Okay, let's do it. Three, two, one. <laughs> My saliva is just so viscous right now. <laughs> Three tears? What the f Told you I was having a bad day. <laughs> Hell yeah. What were you thinking about? Women, pretty much. Your girlfriend or your mom or? It's kind of a, uh, just kind of a hybrid of like my girlfriend and my mom is like one really big woman. That feels sort of... Oedipal in a way. You, you're, you want to always like have sex with your mother is, is basically the Oedipal complex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and this next round is cutting onions. I'm just gonna ask some questions while we cut some onions. Sure, that sounds good. How do you chop? Well, I actually used to work at a pizza place. So oh, really? Yeah. Try to eat pizzas off of the trays when people would send it back, you know? Just because you were like, okay, it's free food. I figure it's like, how often do you go to a restaurant and not finish your meal and just like spit on the food, you know? It's right. good rate that it's just clean food. It's I probably get. clean food. So I would just eat most of it. You know? Okay, so when I say sad, you say childhood. Sad. Childhood. Okay, what does that make you think of? You had a sad childhood, it sounds like. Me? Yeah. No, no, no. It's clearly projecting on me. You're projecting. <laughs> You're projecting, bro. I'm not getting defensive here. <laughs> was your childhood like a happy childhood? I always wanted to have a dog. I never had a dog, so. That's kind of sad. Yeah, I think my dad got bit as a kid and didn't want to tell us about it, so he would always make up all their dumb shit excuses. Like, oh. Like, you're allergic? Then we'd have to go buy a collar and <laughs> food and stuff. That was the big threshold. Like, we'd have to buy a collar if we got a dog. Collars are like two dollars. Like I could mow a lawn. I could make it in ten minutes. You know. Yeah. Ooh, cooler. So you've been dating your girlfriend Sabrina for two years. Two years. Yep. What do you love about your girlfriend? You know, sometimes the world just kind of really seems too big, and I just feel like I'm kind of losing it uh, from time to time. You know, if I'm with her, it's like stuff is like small. You know, like. like you know, I, just, I hold her, and it just feels like nothing matters. You know. Like her included doesn't she, like she doesn't matter to me, but <laughs> like she's in close. And can I ask you something? Just kind of actually like straight up, just yeah. like like the show and stuff aside. Like, what does it feel like to be like losing so badly at your own game? Like, is that good or is like I don't you just, really know what you're, trying, what you're talking about. Speaking about somebody that's had so few failures in their life, like I feel really out of my comfort zone. I feel really privileged that you would you would feel so comfortable, like just failing so badly in front of me to really just give that kind of other side of the aisle like wow this is how other folks live you know like gosh that'd be really bad if I had to be Jordan you know this next round is smelling salts and apparently it's gonna make us really really cry sure I don't think people really use these anymore I think they were discontinued after 1950s football games <laughs> uh, and three two one do you just breathe it in? Holy shit. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh my God. When was the last time you cried with your mom? I went back home for Christmas and <coughs> I accidentally got real blasted on some <laughs> Sauvignon Blanc. And, <laughs> and uh, I just kind of hugged her close. I was like, mom, I just wanted to say, I recognize the sacrifices that uh, you made for me. Oh my God, yeah. And I know that you wanted to do more, but. Oh, uh, uh, uh. 
Uh, he's burning my nose hairs out on my face. So you hit a million subscribers. Yeah. And you did a thank you video, which was so f***ing sweet. Thank you. I cried watching it. I was like, oh my Dude, God. I really appreciate you saying that. Ugh, just like so beautiful. I actually, ha I printed out a comment. Hey guys, so part of the reason you have such devoted fans is not only because you're multi-talented, but because you're so genuine in your interest in your work and your fan base. Oh, Those of us who've been around for a while found you while you were small. It's weird for me and others to watch you grow so big because we know you deserve it and we support it, I but do. it's hard I to watch you unhappy. It. I do is the thing. Is this your therapist? I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, in this next round, we're going to pluck nose hairs gotcha. uh, to see if that will elicit some tears. I kind of don't really have any regard for my personal well-being or appearance, so. You pluck a little guy? I don't have little guys here. I got wads. You're getting, <laughs> there's no in between. Oh my god, I haven't called my mom in two weeks. How yeah. often do you call your mom? Every two weeks. <laughs> so honestly, it's probably not that big of a deal. I feel like that was kind of a tear. No. Not really. Yeah, exactly. Oh no, I hate you, f you man. I hate me too. Your full name is Gustav Emil Johnson. Well, first of all, my middle name's actually pronounced Emil. Emil? Like it sounds like anal. That's like that's bread and butter making fun of on the playground stuff. And she goes, no, we even ran it through all the tests. Like kids wouldn't make fun of this. It's like, you stupid <laughs> idiot, mom. <laughs> How did you grow out of being such like a reserved, worrywart kid? Um, I was honestly a pretty shy kid. And, and my mom came in and she said, Gus, I'm gonna make you do the talent show. I'm gonna take away your cell phone and I'm gonna fine you unless you do that. And I was so pissed at her and I was like, mom, what the hell's wrong with you? Anyway, I went up there and I sang and I wooed all the women and ladies. You won the talent for that. show. I won the talent show, yeah. Oh, uh, that's a fucking big tear, isn't it? What's that right there? That's a, that's a tear. That's sweat. Oh. <laughs> for a round called Sad Song. We're gonna play a sad song and see if it makes you cry. Sure. This song is called Guess You Could Say. Yeah. Which is your song that you play at the end slate of all your YouTube videos. Co-wrote it with uh, my friend Joe Dumas. All right, let's see if it makes us cry. this part. Yeah, you're not even remotely close, but yeah. <laughs> Those are almost the words, yeah. You're right. I love you. <laughs> Uh, this next round is called using cry sticks to wipe them under your eyes and to see if that'll make you cry. That's the title card for this? That's or? the title. We score this one a little differently. Sure. You get points for acting good. All right. So what movies make you uh, cry, man? Going through the Lord of the Rings uh, extended oh, edition God. trilogy, but uh, especially it, you know, Return of the King. I mean, everybody's back home in the, in, oh, in, in the Shire and, and, you know, it's, it, to any logical person, you just assume, you know, the journey is all done. No. And, no. Uh, I know, that's what I was thinking too. I was like, no, there has to be more. Everyone These tears don't count. It's not part of the round. Three, two, one, go. Nobody puts baby in a court. We're dying, Richard Parker. I'm sorry. <laughs> you trusted me and I, f <laughs> and I failed you. Not the peas. Killing me won't bring back your honey. I love the smell. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. If you live to be a hundred, I want to live to be a hundred minus one day. So I never have to live without you. 
It's a one-year membership to the Jelly of the Month Club. I mean, <laughs> that's the gift that just gives all year, isn't it? You bewitched me. Body and soul. God, I've had it with these mother snakes on this mother plane! The truth is, he didn't want to marry me. He didn't love me. Titus! What's Titus, precious? Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. <laughs> you don't mean it. It's just Golem talking. I have one cry battle. I have one cry battle. I have one cry battle. I have one cry battle this time. They are telling me that you have one cry battle. So, uh, congratulations to Gus. Uh, I don't know, we can, you know, we can recount the That's points That's fine, I think they're pretty solid. What does it mean to you to have one? Uh, I think more importantly uh, than that, I think the people at home want to know just how bad, because I know it's very bad, but like how bad does it feel to have inevitably, undoubtedly lost this one? The game's over, you know, you don't... No. You're not still crying, are you? No, the game's over, so... Potatoes! <laughs> <laughs> Potato! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Can we do a flame, sort of? I um, don't think... I don't think that really adds to anything. It'll help. What? It helps with watch time. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>